We are developing a non-invasive, multidimensional technology that will make it possible to diagnose Alzheimer's disease in a single test session and track the disease over time to evaluate the efficacy of therapies. Our technology is based on a paradigm shift in understanding the underlying pathology of Alzheimer's disease. The traditional view of Alzheimer's is that amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles disrupt and destroy normal brain function. But that is only part of the story. Current research reveals that vascular factors also play a major role in the onset and progression of the disease. In fact, profound alterations occur in the structure and function of cerebrovascular cells, glia, and the neurons that act as a neurovascular unit. These alterations promote the neuronal dysfunction that underlies cognitive decline and the changes in memory, mood, thinking, and activity level associated with the disease. Our approach is to measure changes in the dynamic relationship between neural activity and hemodynamic activity that are caused by the underlying disease pathology. We call this relationship neurovascular coupling. We measure neurovascular coupling with a non-invasive probe that simultaneously uses electroencephalography to measure neural dynamics and near-infrared spectroscopy to measure hemodynamic activity. What we have here is uh, the Dartmouth probe. It has uh, 65 electrodes that measure electrical activity coming from the brain, and it has 64 optode positions that uh, illuminate light into the head and detect it. The head probe is designed to be compatible with a wide variety of EEG systems and near-infrared spectroscopy systems. It is made up of, of these linkages uh, that expand and contract uh, to fit a wide variety of head sizes and shapes. And it's uh, very easy to, to fabricate, assemble, and use. All right, yep. it's all set. So I'm going to turn on the lasers now. And there we go. Neurovascular units in the microenvironment of the brain are comprised of neurons, arterioles that carry blood oxygen to the brain, and glial cells such as astrocytes that help with cellular communication. Our EEG nearest probe can be quickly and easily positioned on the head for measurement of neurodynamics with EEG and hemodynamics with near-infrared spectroscopy or NIRS. These signals respond dynamically to simple stimuli. The EEG signal comes from synchronous firing of neurons. The near signal comes from vasodilation and changes in blood oxygenation. We quantify the coupling between neural and vascular activity by automatically extracting features of the EEG and NIRS waveforms that indicate relative timing and amplitude. Alzheimer's disease is marked by accumulation of plaques in the neurovascular unit, tangles in the neurons, and inflammation of the arterial walls. These pathologies cause changes in the neurovascular coupling features and distort the waveforms of the EEG and near signals that we measure. Oxidative stress in the microenvironment of the brain from impaired neurovascular coupling contributes to neuronal cell death and cognitive decline associated with Alzheimer's disease. We believe that our multidimensional approach overcomes various challenges in assessing Alzheimer's disease. Any single measure of brain function will be confounded by variability that naturally occurs between trials and between individuals in the population. This is why it is so important to measure neural activity and hemodynamic activity simultaneously. In fact, this trial-to-trial -trial variations in the multimodal data are analyzed and our approach has covariance that helps rather than hinders the precision of our test. We also measure neurovascular coupling over all the superficial regions of the brain, which adds a spatial dimension for network-level analysis of neurovascular coupling. Our approach delivers neural, hemodynamic, temporal, and spatial dimensions of brain function to distinguish Alzheimer's disease from other causes of dementia. We can also use the technology to observe in real time how pharmaceutical drugs alter this multidimensional brain physiology which may provide valuable information for the breakthrough we are all working towards, new options for treating Alzheimer's disease.